So uh, I, I a little surprise today. I got Ross Barkin in my neighborhood. How you doing? I'm back. Ross. There I am. So last time, uh, last time we spoke, Ross was uh, Ross is in the neighborhood. You see where we are? It's beautiful Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. It's knocking, knocking on doors. So Ross Barkin, uh, if you don't know, is running for uh, the state senate. State senate, correct? He's District running 22. against. He's running against uh, Marty Goldman. Twenty years. How long? How long is he About fifteen in the state senate, and then uh, twenty count the city council. So the thing I like, the thing, the thing that um, that I like most about Ross, we we would disagree on, I don't know, maybe like extreme left uh, issues, but but Ross certainly uh, agrees that universal health care for all. Absolutely, Medicare for all, it's the way to go. S single payer, anything yep. short of that is uh, is gibberish. I agree. Okay. So That's we good. also we probably agree uh, free college tuition. Yep, hundred percent tuition free. What else? Is the way to go. What about cutting the the corporate tax rate, knocking out the oligarchy? Well, cutting the I don't know, but cutting the tax. We had to knock out the oligarchy. I don't know if I would cut the tax rate though. It's the the we corporate got, tax rate. If I went cut. I, I'm sorry. What did I say? Cut I it. Said cut it. We don't want to cut it. I say yes. cut. Uh, I'm sorry. It's it, just for it's 90 yeah. degrees out right now. <laughs> it's hot. So we we cut. What I say is what I propose. We cut the income tax on regular people. Yeah. And you you, you not necessarily jack up the corporate tax rate, but at least hold them. Hold them to hold them accountable. Hold them yeah. accountable. They 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 got they went from thirty four percent down to 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 uh, twenty percent. They got a fourteen percent break on on money they don't pay anyway because yeah. they use all the, the the tax loopholes. So that's trillions of dollars that the American people never see. That's the problem. Do you, do you agree? Do you agree with that assessment? It's definitely, I mean, court, you know, loopholes for, for millionaires and billionaires is a problem. It's something we have to address. It's more of a federal issue. The state, I mean, the things we do on the state level, but more of a federal issue. Definitely can't give uh, the oligarchs and, and, and the corporate titans a free ride in this country anymore. We have to really hold them accountable. How do we do it? How do we hold them accountable? I think I know there's a guy, good... there's a guy down the block, uh, Max Rose. He's, yeah. uh, I walk by his office and I talk to some of his people, and they, he's, they're talking about like uh, you know Obamacare, the, you yeah. know, the failed, you know. You need better than you better than Obamacare. How about, how about this as, a, as an idea? We listen to the people, and if if seventy percent of the people in New York State, maybe more, are saying we want a single payer Medicare for all, universal health care, right? But then you look into the office of Schumer and and uh, Justin Gillibrand, and they're saying no, we can't do it. So. Why are these people still representing us and not guys like you who believe in it? Well, I may be rep. I've got to win this election, then I'll, then I'll be up there and we'll be fighting with Bernie and everyone else to get it done. So, how do we? So, when's the election? Talk so, we've got a primary September 13th, so definitely vote for me on September 13th. And then in the general, after that, against Marty Golden, and that's November 8th. Um, I believe it's 8th. And then win on the 8th, and we'll be uh, in the state senate. Excellent. Now, I noticed you're out here by yourself. You're only, you got one. One helper. What, what, what's that's that's the real shit, right? You're that's out. the real stuff, man. Guy, guys doors, out here on a 90, 90 degree day. In it's hot out. He could be at the. He could be in a pool. <laughs> I could be, but there are no votes at the you pool. Think Unless there are votes at the pool, I go to the pool. I think he's the real deal. I think he's the real deal. I just again, my my fundamental my fundamental bitch is and always has been. How do you how do you run in the Democratic Party and then if you win? Yeah. Which it's you're, you're doing good. I yeah. think you're gonna knock. Uh, Andrew Canard is out of the box. I think he's. Hoping to do that, yeah. I I I, I approached Hope him with a camera. It. He ran. He ran away from me. Well, I see something coming. So I think you're gonna. I think you'll probably be the Democratic. Uh, oh yeah, I hope so. Working candidate. very hard, so I hope so. And so then, so then the politicians. So so you get to, uh, you get up to Albany, right? And and they say, hey, Ross, how you doing? Yeah. yeah. There's a pile. How you doing? Here's, here's a there's a suitcase under the table. This is right. for you. Right. A lot of money. It's a pile of money. I say no to that money. That's it. Look, the money can't run you. Uh, I am, you know, a former teacher. I've been a journalist. I, I know how the game works. I know how it plays. And you can't play me. You know, I'm gonna be fighting for the issues I care about, the community cares about, and I can't be bought and I can't be sold. And that's a promise. Sounds good, man. Thank you very much. All right. Good deal, Russ. Well, I think I think we're friends again. I think we're friends. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> Peace out. Peace out, man.